So guys, I came out of the shop for a second into the uh, break room area here to do a little bit of video, a little video for you guys. Um, we're working on this project here, and we can't exactly say exactly what the project is, but I'm thinking about going through and talking about uh, some of the process before we go out and put out the full uh, build slash aspect video of the car. This car is not just um, involves more than just us. We're doing just about all the work on it, me and Maddie, but along with the help of a couple other people that will be chipping in here and there to try to meet uh, what we're trying to get this car done for. But we're going to go through and talk about some of the things, and I think we're going to do some little, uh, I guess you could call them teasers. They're not really teasers, but some uh, build aspects of the video that don't involve the car so I could describe some of the things that we're doing and some of the technical stuff that we're doing without actually showing the car. So, here it goes. So as Rex enjoys his beef liver, uh, Maddie and I are going to talk about uh, some things. About the, I didn't even know. Yeah, it's beef liver. So we're gonna talk about uh, the front motor plate that we're getting ready to do. Okay, guys, this is just your uh, typical big block Chevy uh, motor plate. But I went through and uh, this line right here. You know what? I'm gonna flip this around and send give the camera to okay. me. Action. 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 Okay. So guys, I went through. Oh, I marked the crankshaft center line. I uh, marked the crankshaft center line by putting the motor plate up on the, the dummy block and marking the line where the camshaft or slash oil pan goes um, it's within an eighth inch going off like the pan rail or the main cap rail and that's the uh, center line of the crankshaft. The center line of the crankshaft basically dictates um, it's just a number but it basically dictates the crankshaft center line or basically dictates the uh, center of gravity in the vehicle now as far as the height wise goes now uh, wheelbase kind of and the engine setback dictate uh, the weight bias but center of gravity, like height-wise, is basically dictated off the height of the motor, okay? So, uh, we put this just up on the frame rails, and yes, it does have uh, factory front frame rails on the, this car that we're working on, and uh, just setting it up on there um, with the car at ride height was 19 inches, okay? We, uh, we notched that four inches, so we're gonna test it here, and that would put us at a 15-inch crankshaft center line. 15 inches is quite high for um, most of the stuff we're doing, uh, but doing the back end of the track stuff and uh, legit no prep stuff that we'll be running in, I think we can get away with it. There's a chance we'll lower this down to 13 and a half to 14 inches. Uh, generally speaking, if it was like a two chassis, uh, two chassis car for a reference, they race on like the front side no prep or front side track stuff with like uh, big tires, or whatever. You'd probably have that around like 10 to 11 inches. So uh, just to give you a reference point. So we're gonna go through here and we're gonna mock this up. We can't do this on video right now because this video is going to go out before the uh, before the car gets um, debuted, I guess you could say. But like I said, this is kind of like teasers, but not really because this car involves more than just Maddie and I. Uh, and we'll just keep it at that for now. So we're getting ready to put the motor plate up in there to mock up the big block and the, um, the transmission, get everything in that in line, and hopefully we could have... Uh, the motor sitting in the car this evening. Technically, it's day two working on this thing, and uh, we're gonna see what we can get. So we overnighted these guys, and uh, I'm uh, surprised. Did everything come or just yeah, everything showed up? It? Oh, that's awesome. It was extra forty dollars in shipping, but uh, it was a gamble too because that's a gamble. you never know if it's gonna actually get here. When we were trying to get the thirty-four ready for dig or die, um, we overnighted hundreds of dollars. I, I spent hundreds of shipping. dollars, yeah, in shipping. And uh, yeah, that stuff, stuff didn't show up come. like for a week after you paid overnight shipping. So, yep, this is a little break room in the place that we're staying in at uh, Flying Hammer down here and uh, on the west side of Lake Norman. So, it's about 40 minutes from Mooresville, but it's a pretty good setup here. And we'll be going and talking about some other things uh, in the short, uh, short distance here. So, thank you guys.